Melville Goodwin, USA, by John P. Marquand explores the complexities of American military culture, as embodied in the character of General Melville Goodwin. The novel is a sharp examination of a man shaped by his profession and the rigid values of the U.S. military system. Goodwin's character is defined by his adherence to discipline, duty, and an unwavering commitment to his role as a soldier, making him both admirable and tragically limited in his emotional depth. The narrative revolves around Goodwin's relationship with Sidney Skelton, a journalist tasked with writing a piece on the general. Skelton becomes fascinated with Goodwin's life, and through this lens, the reader is able to glimpse the dissonance between the general's public persona and his private life. Marquand uses Skelton as a foil to Goodwin, where Skelton is introspective and aware of the nuances of human emotions and relationships, Goodwin is steadfast in his belief in duty above all else. This contrast allows Marquand to delve into the psyche of a military man who has sacrificed personal fulfillment for professional success. Goodwin is portrayed as a man of great competence in his field, revered by his peers and superiors alike. Yet, as the novel progresses, the costs of his dedication become clear. Goodwin's commitment to military duty has alienated him from his family, particularly his wife, Connie. Their strained relationship exemplifies the tension between personal desire and the demands of Goodwin's career. Connie, while initially supportive of her husband, becomes increasingly disillusioned by the sacrifices she is forced to make for his profession. Marquand subtly critiques the military's influence on personal lives, suggesting that the institution's emphasis on hierarchy and loyalty often comes at the expense of individual happiness. The novel also touches on the broader implications of Goodwin's career in a post-World War II context. As the general prepares for potential conflicts in the Cold War era, his mindset remains firmly rooted in the military strategies of the past. Marquand uses Goodwin's adherence to traditional military values as a commentary on the changing nature of warfare and global politics. The general's rigid worldview contrasts with the more fluid and uncertain geopolitical landscape of the time, highlighting the tension between the old guard of military leadership and the evolving challenges of the modern world. Goodwin's relationship with Sidney Skelton deepens the exploration of these themes. Skelton's growing admiration for the general is tempered by his realization that Goodwin's life, while outwardly impressive, is emotionally hollow. The general's inability to connect with those closest to him, including his own son, reveals a man trapped by his own sense of duty. Marquand uses this emotional distance to illustrate the toll that a life devoted to military service can take on personal relationships. Goodwin, despite his outward success, is ultimately portrayed as a lonely and isolated figure. The novel's tone is often reflective, as Marquand carefully balances his critique of military life with a certain respect for the values that Goodwin represents. The general is not an unsympathetic character, rather, he is a product of a system that demands unwavering loyalty and sacrifice. Marquand's portrayal of Goodwin invites readers to consider the costs of such a life, not only for the individual but for those around them. At its core, the novel is a meditation on the nature of leadership and the personal sacrifices that come with power and responsibility. Goodwin embodies the contradictions inherent in the military ethos, strength and vulnerability, honor and personal compromise. Through Goodwin's story, Marquand presents a nuanced and complex portrait of a man who, despite his outward success, is haunted by the emotional voids created by his devotion to duty. The general's life, while admirable in its discipline, serves as a cautionary tale about the limits of a life defined by a single purpose.